Hello and welcome to the news button. In today's news analysis, we shall discuss whether the US economy is on a time bomb. Renowned economist and former Reserve Bank of India governor Raghuram Rajan has asserted that the US economy is in troubled waters. Rajan pointed to the recent collapse of three big banks, and that's not all. He feels the world's largest economy still has many more challenges that may strike it any time soon. Rajan expressed his anxiety about a simmering time bomb, the domino effect, riskless capitalism, and long-term problems. Recently, the top economist in a podcast with DBS Bank's chief economist, Taimur Beg, shared that the way the US authorities handled the bank crisis was somewhat predictable. They knew that due to this crisis, it would be difficult to handle the economic situation there and panic could spread. Rajan said, I think the short-term problem has been dealt with by the implicit in- insurance of all deposits, but the longer-term problem still exists. Rajan thinks quantitative aging has also spread This has paved the way for many changes in the economic scenario, which are quite different from that of the olden times. Banks are already facing the fear of recession. Problems are also increasing for small and big businesses. Both small as well as big businesses are facing insurmountable challenges in repaying their loans to service loans. From last year, the country's central bank the Federal Reserve has increased its interest rates by up to 4.5%. It has come to impact banks such as Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic Bank. As a direct result of the majors to arrest inflation, there has been a strong increase in bond yields as well. But this didn't stop another banking giant, Credit Suisse, from falling into big financial troubles until the U.S. authorities made efforts to secure depositors' money. Taking into account all these factors, Rajan asserts that the efforts that are being made to save the banking system from collapse are actually somewhat increasing riskless capitalism. He doesn't believe they constitute a permanent solution. So what, according to you, is a permanent solution? Let us know in your comments. Hope you like the video. Then why wait? Give us a thumbs up. Before leaving, leave your comments in the comment section. And do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for your time.